Hello everyone, welcome to our session for this YouTube video. I'm Mang Mang Cai, PhD JD Attorney at Law at New Wei Ming Law Group. 哎，大家好，这一个视频呢是 i 四八五的 mock interview 模拟的面谈，因为很多人呢在四八五面谈以前嘛，有的时候有很多关心的问题，希望了解更多的事，所以呢，我和我的律所的同事像 Forest 先生一起准备了这个四八五的模拟的面谈。So Dan will play the role of UICI's officer. For the interview before I-485 approval, and、uh, I will play the role of the green card applicant. So Dan will ask the questions usually asked during the interview, and I will give answers. Also, occasionally I also give explanations. Let's start now. Is John Doe here? Uh, yes, I am John Doe. Yeah.、Uh, hello,、Hi. Mr. Doe. Yeah. Nice Thank to meet you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you.、Uh, may I see your ID and your passport, please? Yes. Okay. I brought it. So here's my ID, and、uh, this is my passport. Thank you. Now let's take your fingerprints: left index finger and right index finger. Left index finger. Right index finger. Now please face the camera, and I'll take a picture of you. Okay. Now raise your hand, your right hand, and repeat after me. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Do you have an attorney accompanying you for this interview? If not, review and sign this form that says you waive the right to have presence of an attorney for your I-485 interview. Well, okay.、Uh, in this mock interview, actually, I don't have attorney accompanying me, so I will review the form and sign. And as we know to the audience, well, in the actual interview, if you want, of course, you can have attorney accompany you.、Mm -hmm. Please state your full name, your family name, and given name. Have you used any other names? My name is Zhang Dou. The family name is Dou, spelled as D O E. And the first name is John, spelled as J O H N. I have never used any other name. In which country were you born? Which city and province? I was born in Beijing, China, and uh, uh, the city is Beijing. There is no province. What is your current citizenship? Do you have any other citizenships? I am a Chinese citizen, and、uh, I do not have any other citizenship. Where do you live now? Do you have proof of your address? Yes, I live at one two three four Main Street in Fairfax, Virginia, and、uh, I do have utility bills which I brought, which can serve as proof of my address. Of course, I also、uh, in my driver's license it also shows my address. How long have you been living at this address? Where did you live before that? I have been living at the current address for two years and three months. Before moving to the current address, I lived in another state. I lived in three, four, five, six in、uh, College Station in Pennsylvania. What is your current immigration status? How long have you been holding that status? I have I forty five pending, so my current status is A O S Adjustment of Status. I filed the 485 application about one year ago, and I have been in that status since then. I currently do not have other visa status. When was the last time that you entered the United States, and where is the port? Or where is the port of entry? I entered the U.S.、Uh, last time about six months ago using the advanced parole card, and、uh, the airport is Dallas in Virginia. What was your visa status when you entered the United States? Okay, so for some applicants, well, as an explanation, you know, it can be H one B, J one, F one, whatever. But in this case, I entered the U.S. using the EAD AP combo card, so as a so-called parolee, because I have four eighty five pending. I used advanced parole, so the visa status is A O S. Where do you work now? How long have you been working here? Where did you work before that? Okay. Currently, I am a postdoc researcher at the National Institutes of Health (NIH). I have been working there for a little more than two years. Well, before that, I was a PhD student in Penn State University in Pennsylvania. 
Are you currently employed? What does your employer do? I am currently working at the NIH, National Institute of Health. So, well, this can also be, you know, in some cases, you can also be working for a company. In that case, you can bring the company website. I think. So, uh, here are some, well, I, I did bring explanation, documents, materials for my employer, and if needed, I have them for review. What is your current position, your job title, and duties? I am a postdoc fellow. And、uh, my job title, formal title, is called a、uh, research fellow. And my duty is,、uh, well, I conduct scientific biological research at the NIH. Are you still working in the same field as described in your I-140 petition? Yes, it is the same general research field. I was a PhD student, majored in biochemistry、uh, at Penn State University, and、uh, currently I'm working on molecular biology and cell biology, working at the NIH. What is the basis of your green card application? I applied through employment-based、uh, application, and it's a self-petition. My I-140 is in the category of EB1A, alien of extraordinary ability. How many I-140 petitions have you filed? Well, actually, I do have two I-140 petitions filed and approved. My first petition was in the EB2 NIW category, National Interest Waiver, and after that is approved. I also filed the EB1A application, and that was also approved. I do have the approval notice for both petitions with me. Is your priority date current? Yes, my priority date, which was the filing date of my first I-140 petition, was three years ago. So it was back in the beginning of 2016, and it is current in the EB1 category now. So the visa number is available for me, and also if applicable, also for my spouse and children. Do you have additional documents with you, such as a new medical exam? Or signed supplemental J form, also an employment verification letter. I do have employment verification letter with me, and also my W two form and pay stub to show my employment status. For the medical exam, well, I did submit it within the past two years, and according to the current regulation, I believe it should still be valid. I do not have a supplemental J form with me because in this case I filed the application in the EB1A self petition category. But if I filed the application in EB1B or through the perm category, I will bring the signed supplemental J form with me. Are you married? If yes, when did you get married? Yes, I am married, and my spouse is here with me attending this interview. I got married four years ago. Is there any other previous marriage relationship? No. Where did you get married? I got married in Las Vegas in the U.S. What's your wife's birthday? My wife's birthday. Oh, that's January first in nineteen eighty. What is your mother-in-law's name? My dear mother-in-law's name is Joe Elizabeth. What additional proofs do you have for marriage relationship? Uh, I have the certificate of marriage issued in Las Vegas in the U.S. And other than that, my wife and I have joint bank account. We also have joint health insurance, and、uh, also the ID show we do live in the same address. And、uh, other than that, well, we have children together. Now I will ask your wife the same questions, but for the sake of this illustration, we will skip those questions. Okay, thanks. So you know, when more than one applicant attend the interview, you know, this routine will go through each and every of the attendee. Now I will move to the standard questions on I four eighty five four. Okay, thank you, officer. So this ends the first part of our four eighty five mock interview for your reference, and we'll have the second part with the routine questions and answers for the four eighty five four. Thanks.